pest control workers have warned that rats will be on the hunt for somewhere warm as winter approaches. You know, I'm always on the lookout for now it's turned cold stories after the mm. freakishly long summer. Yeah. That it, something's going to be worse. Yeah. Evidently, rats, they just love that heat. It's going to be snowing rats Ooh, across yeah. the whole of winter. The rats, they're like, turn it up. Uh, companies normally report 30% or 40% rise in call-outs for rodent infestations at this time of year. Uh, but uh, Paul Bates, do you know Paul? No. He's Managing Director of Clean Kill Pest Control. Shop, shop, Hello? shop, shop. Hello, Clean Kill. Oh. <laughs> what, double tap pest control? <laughs> Hello, Clean Kill. <laughs> yeah. We're not messy, no. We're clean. <laughs> I mean, it does what it says on the tin. Yeah. Hello, Clean Kill. Hello there. I wonder if you can help my mother in law. <laughs> anyway. kill. Hello, Clean Kill. I'll get. We've got a killer over there, actually. Uh, I'm afraid all our clean killers are on uh, on jobs at the moment. We've got. Um, do they do that sneaky neck snapping thing you see in smart and spy love it movies? If they did. Uh, let me have a look. Psycho Neil's back at. Okay, here we go. Clean Kill Pest Control said a double whammy of weather conditions would make rats even more likely to head into homes this year. Oh, they love a perfect storm weather thing, don't they? Yeah, that's what what I'm looking out for. You know, at the moment, Gav, freaky summer, impact winter. Yeah. Um, He said the hot weather had caused more rats to come out of hiding, looking for water. And as the ground was harder and drier, it's more difficult for rodents to burrow underground. Do you know I love? It's how well he knows his quarry. (laughs) (laughs) I bet he goes down there and he goes, okay, okay, hang on, wait a second, wait a second. Probably got a bit hotter. Ground's a bit harder on the rat. I'm coming down here. I'm thinking a bit of food. Sees one in a tree. Clever girl. Clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> just sees just sees one one making off one way, the other going the other way. He goes, good psychology. <laughs> so I'm coming down there. I'm looking for somewhere warm. Warm summer. I've had a drink. <laughs> Just get into the mindset. Profiling. He's the, profiling the, the rats. Okay, let's go. It's a hot day. I need some water. Don't you think? I'm in the house. I'm not in the house. It's nice and warm. Exactly right. Clean kill. <laughs> Don't let them out think you. Thunk, thunk. Double tap a rat. And he walks away casually ignoring a massive explosion. Yes, in the house. Behind him, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, he said the hot weather had caused more rats. This is what he's thinking is. The hot weather's caused more rats to come out of hiding, looking for water. Because the ground was hard and dry, they can't burrow underground. Ah. So they've got to go inside. So forecasters have been pre- predicting an extremely cold winter. Right. You know what that means? Rats coming into the house. Rats can uh, uh, rats can lead to homes being damaged because they sometimes gnaw at electric cables. I don't know why they gnaw at electric cables. I don't know what that is. I don't know why. There's no food in there for them. No, there isn't. I think it's just to demonstrate that the enamel, I don't know if you know this, the enamel on a rat's tooth is the hardest thing in nature. Did you know that? No. It's harder than anything else in nature. Specifically, the enamel on a rat's tooth. Wow. So I think they just do it as a demonstration of, ha ha! Teeth like (laughs) diamonds. It's true. It's just their superpower. (laughs) Must have been rats. Only rats could have... It's ah. just leaving a little trademark bite, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, watch out for that. Here's yeah. the pretender, Foo Fighters on X.